Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Okay, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy, Volandis, back with another video. And in today's video, we continue with my time that I spent over in Europe. This time, we're in Malta. But also, in today's video, I just want to mention that I am going to be talking about the best travel 35 millimeter camera to have, at least for me. And some of y'all already guessed it because y'all seen me shoot with it in my couple other little videos. So yes, if, you, if you've guessed the Leica M6, you are 100, 1000% correct. I did travel with the Contax um, T2. So that's also a great, you know, kind of compact camera to, you know, travel with. So I say that the Leica M6 is one of the best cameras to travel with for reasons that I've already mentioned plenty of times on this video, but I will reiterate. One being that is very small, compact, it fit in my backpack most of the time. Sometimes when I was holding it and um, had it around my shoulder or my neck, it didn't necessarily get in the way of anything. And I like that. Also, it's heavy, durable. So if you're traveling with something, you don't want it to break. Um, good camera to travel with and knowing that it won't break brings you some ease to your to your mind when you're thinking about traveling through all these, you know, airports and shit like that. So another reason that is great is that um, you know, so like M6, you know, even though I do got my Voigtlander glass on there, it's still a very good, you know, quality camera to have and to take these pictures with. So you don't sacrifice really any quality at all when, you know, taking these photos and, you know, getting you some nice low travel film photos. So today we're going to be talking about Malta. I'm going to be narrating this video just a little bit because to be honest, um, some of the clips are all over the place. And without a little bit of narration, there's not very much to go off of so yeah all right so first and foremost we flew from barcelona after we left barcelona we flew straight to malta once we got to malta i was very surprised that they drive on the other side of the road and that their steering wheels are on the other side of their cars when i first got it, when like the cab driver pulled up to take our bags and stuff i walked over to like the passenger side what's the passenger side in america i walked over to that side and a dude got out of the car from that side and i was like that's weird like why was he sitting in his passenger seat and then he took our bags put them in there and then he walked back to that side and i walked to the other side because i was like okay and then I get in and I'm like, oh, this is the passenger side. <laughs> that shit caught me so off guard. I actually had no idea what was going on. But yeah, it, it was it was wild. Malta is a very, 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 very beautiful country. It's an island. Um, I do think that the, the, the country of Malta is smaller than the city of Detroit. It's a very, very, very small island. Um, but very beautiful nonetheless. It was a very beautiful island. I, I enjoyed my time there quite a bit. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. I got me a little bacon bun with a fried egg. She got her uh, eggs Benedict. I hate when I'm eating this whole European tour. I don't like 160. But you got no choice today. So one thing we did a lot because in Malta it is extremely hot, like very, very hot. And um, I'm not a fan of being hot, and neither is a mall. So one thing that they have in Malta is this pool club culture, where you know they go to pools during the day and they just like kind of relax and chill out at the pools all day. And you know what I'm saying, eat, do whatever they got to do, and just you know kind of relax at the pool. So that's what we did.
So something I also found very interesting is that they have a few film stores in Malta. And I didn't necessarily expect that. I did need film because I pretty much had none and I was going to two more countries after after yeah after Malta. So I was like, bro, I need to find some film. So I found a film store. The film store was located in Valletta, which is the capital of Malta, if you know I remember correctly. But um, after I got the film, it was nighttime. So we kind of just walked around Valletta, got some food, checked out the city. And I loved it so much. I was like, I got to come back <laughs> during the day. So literally the next day, first thing in the morning, I went straight back to Valletta to shoot. Look at it. Look at it. This is almost as beautiful as you. <laughs> almost fell. Look at her taking all the shine away. Okay, okay, okay. The thing I find the thing that I'm finding most fascinating about walking around here is like how unique and just like colorful and cool and kind of like just old looking that these uh, kind of balcony windows are. They look crazy. Super dope. No matter where you go, they will have some film photographer vibes. Nice little covered car, bro. Say, what more can you ask for? Honestly. Right after I was done with Valletta, I met up with them all. She was at a pool club because she loved them. That's all she wanted to do the whole time we were there. But I met up with her there. We chilled out for a little bit. And then we went, we hopped on a boat to go to the Blue Lagoon. And it was cool. You know what I'm saying? We got to see some cool views on the way. Got to swim. I can't swim, so I didn't swim. But, you know, got to swim in the ocean next to these, like, huge rock formations. And then we went to the Blue Lagoon where I did swim because it was a beach and I was able to walk into the water. At the Blue Lagoon, I was able to take some of my favorite photos from this trip with like some cliffs and stuff in the background. And honestly, it's just, you know, it's very beautiful. Some of my favorite photos that I've taken on, on the trip. But after that, we, you know, went home, fell asleep. I kind of got sick. I got like a really bad cold. It wasn't COVID because I got tested. Um, but I ended up getting a really bad cold. And then 
I don't know, man. It just kind of like, it just kind of put me down. I haven't had a cold in a while, but I think just like with my body being on a different schedule, um, you're six hours ahead of where I am. Um, my body being on a different schedule, the water, um, food, just exhaustion. I was moving around, doing so many things. You know, it was just, it was a lot for me. So, you know, I did get kind of sick, but it wasn't, it wasn't nothing that was like, you know, life threatening or it didn't necessarily affect my day to day. So it, it was fine. It, was, it is what it is. It just felt different because I haven't had a cold in so long. And I feel like every single time I get even a little bit of sick, like the first thing that I think of is COVID. Like, ah, I got COVID. Cause it feels like that's the only thing you could have nowadays. You can't have any other sickness besides COVID. So I was worried nonetheless. I, I was scared. I'm not going to sit here and cap. I was, I was nervous. I might got COVID, but that was that we, we woke up, then we flew to Croatia, but you know, that's another video. So yeah, man. All right. So let's just pause and thank the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. So if you want to learn more about photography or videography, Skillshare is the place for you. But the cool thing about Skillshare is that it's not just a place where you can learn about one thing you can learn about any and everything using Skillshare, whether that's design, animation, photography, videography, cooking, or even finance. Anything you wanna learn, Skillshare has you covered. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, and they're always launching new and premium classes. So a class that I'm interested in at the moment is one by digital storyteller, Halise. In this class, she goes over making videos for Instagram. She goes over doing jump cuts, finding your inspiration, and picking your themes and a lot more to upgrade your Instagram video storytelling. So the first 1,000 people to use the links in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And as always, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. But the Leica M6 handled all of this. Every single trip, every single country, the Leica M6 handled it. Ease, with ease, bro. Just put somebody, Photoshop some muscles on the Leica M6 because it's, it's like that. He's that guy. The Like M6 is that guy. Not to be messed around with, bro. But that's it, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my sweater. I hope you guys enjoyed my sexy background voiceover that I just did for the video. You feel me? Um, other than that, man, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, I'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do. So let's get out of here, man. Let's go do some shit. You know the vibes. Let's get it.